You don't have to do this, it's just fun. The Complete Shrink Guide by Den and Denim. Levi's shrink to fit jeans are a cornerstone for denim and denim heads, salvage denim heads, gold miners from the 19th century, and every American. But the art of soaking your denim and shrinking them to your body is a lost art, something that most people just don't take the time to do anymore. Well, I'm here to set all the facts straight about how to shrink your jeans. There are three methods. You can just wear them. You can soak in the tub and you can spin them in the washing machine. I'm going to do all three just to show you what the difference is and then the details of how to do each. Let's begin with option one wearing them rigid. You'll want to buy your actual size, but you can give or take half a size or even a full size. And this one is the most classic, genuine look. It is great. Rigid, got to wear them rigid. Rigid, rigid, got to wear them rigid. So the first part, let's wear them rigid. Get your true waist size. You can even go half a size smaller, half a size bigger. If you want to use a belt, go a size bigger. But they will shrink not so much. They will expand about half a size. And if you want to tuck your shirts in, but you just wear them. Now, if you do this with rigid, Remember that you're going to have this walking ink blot on yourself that will wear on the white shirt. I use this pair to cuff up and have a good exposure of the selvage line. I also like the Christmas of the dark versus the light. You really see the cuff stand out. Wearing your pair rigid is the nicest way to kind of show off that true selvage denim pride. It's the best way for a greaser look. And it's the best way to get the wonderful distression lines. Now the hack to getting that is to wear a pair of sweatpants underneath a slightly larger pair and live in a cold climate. Yes, the colder the climate you live in, someplace like the Arctic, the Antarctic, you're going to get this crispness that will make each crease more significant. The distression versus the raw denim rigid indigo color if you want to get slightly larger wear some sweatpants underneath the creases from the sweatpants will cause wrinkles that will give you this marbled cracking most beautiful fade that you could get possibly get the bad points about it are of course being in rigid you're just constantly worried about every little thing and how you wash them once you start brushing then you get a little distression there so you want to keep them as good as you can if you go ahead and wash your jeans that you're wearing rigid let's say two years three years later even after a hundred washes then they will shrink at that point they are getting slightly damp around the knees and waist so they are slowly figuring to your body, but it's a wonderful pair to have in your collection to just wear rigid and keep as such. So I do recommend having one pair that you do do that with, or you do that with a pair that you're going to soak at some point in time. Dipping in the tub cause you want to scrub. Dipping in the tub cause you want to go rub a dub dub. Dipping in the tub, this is the best way. This is how you will get the genes that absorb to your body that have that fit that is you. It's a second skin, but it also has the right curves that only you have. This is why you buy vintage Levi's from the LVC collection and not from actual old jeans that have already had this done. 
It truly is an experience of making sweet love to your jeans, and you'll need to wear them for a couple hours as they dry. At least a good hour. I'll go about two or three and let them dry completely while moving around. Take the measurements so you don't have to. More on this later. I'm going to walk into them with them as long as possible on your feet so you don't have any crease lines. And into the water. Getting into the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Welcome to Dead and Denim here in the bathtub. Doing a bathtub soak for a pair of jeans that you want to shrink. Just about one size in the waist by shrinking in water and wearing them you get to break the shrinkage so that it stops at a certain point why am i wearing a t-shirt because i wear t-shirts and i want to tuck them in if you don't want to tuck in your t-shirts or any kind of shirt then don't do this but right now i just need to get them wet gonna sitting in the tub here for about uh, up to 30 minutes i'll just watch a couple videos and let the time pass i want them to be as wet as possible and denim is a thick material so it really takes a while to penetrate about 30 minutes it's doing it the pair of 1966 distressed and the waist is a little, I need, I need one size too big on me, and the length, I want to hem, but I first want to shrink. So let's go through a soak and a wash, or two soaks, before I do that. I'm going to show you the whole process. So get in the tub, let's do it. Part of the process I'm doing is just kind of putting my hands all around, touching everything, making sure that nothing's creased in any way it's as straight as possible but i'm not making any lines just letting all the water get through in there the water's pretty clear from this pair but if they were rigid you would have pretty deep blue indigo colored water at the moment and that's one reason why you soak, is to get rid of all that excess color. And why I'm wearing a blue t-shirt. Dipping in the tub cause you want to scrub. Dipping in the tub cause you want to go rub a dub dub. You don't have to do this, it's just fun. Get them hyped to where you want the seat. Really work the crotch. And down, spread, and down, spread. Sides, sides. Squeeze anything out. Squeeze back. Squeeze the crotch. Squeeze the butt. Squeeze the knee. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Really want to work it in there. <laughs> Get the pocket straight and squeeze again. So it's been about two hours. I took a walk outside and the sun got pretty dry within the first 30 minutes. And then for the last 40 minutes, I've been sitting on the couch, put a towel down. And they're pretty much all dry, getting really tight in those nice little corners of it. But once they're dry in the right areas, the waist is shrunk as much as it's going to. You can still feel the little wetness in the crotch. The outsides are really dry by this point, and 
the legs have shrunk as much as they're going to shrink on this soaking. You got about one more soak or wash to shrink it anymore. That's it. After the second, it's shrunk as much as it's gonna. So results of the tub soak, I went down half a centimeter wide in the waist, which is only about half a size, about a quarter of a size. And the seat adjusted about a quarter inch. It, it you know, towards your crotch, it adjusts a little more like that. And lengthwise, I lost three centimeters, which is a uh, little significant. Wash them good, because we live in an industrial age, and everything needs to be cleansed in the purge of the... Okay, so let's just wash our jeans good so we can get the most shrink out of them and have it done with. And this we can do at different temperatures from 20 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius. We're going to try those two right now and how to hang them afterwards because that's also a factor. Now for option three, the machine wash method and the most shrinkage you'll get out of the shrink to fit methods. Who will be my victim? 84s, let's go! So the first step is to make sure that you have enough room to shrink. You want at least two sizes, preferably two and a half. Even three sizes if you got something like a 36 or larger. So let's check the waist. Oh, looking good, I can fit four fingers in like that. The length, I'm curling up already. Lengthwise, I don't have that much room to lose. So they're gonna ride a little high if I go to shrink them. So the first step you wanna do, check your pockets and turn the jeans inside out to limit any wear of the dye, be it black, rigid, even if it's a uh, light distressed like this, you still want to do the same thing when putting them in the washing machine. You don't have to. You can even uh, turn, twist or tie a leg around into a knot. That way you'll get this almost tie-dye effect from it. Maybe we'll try that in some kind of uh, subscriber special in a mm, few months or a year or something. So we've got them inside out, and they are ready to put in the washing machine. Let's go! Now wash it real good! So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on 37 minutes, 30 degrees. This is a hand wash cycle. Hand wash or delicate. Uh, you don't want that much agitation, just a little bit to get the water going. Let's go for it. This really is one of the best Levi's commercials from 1985. I have a playlist of all the best. If you go to my uh, YouTube page, you can watch some good commercials on the playlist there, along with my own videos. Pulling them out of the wash right now, I'm just gonna turn them inside out and try to put them on to see how they shrunk. Then we'll get a measurement and I'm gonna hang them to dry. So let's test it out. Do -do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Exciting times. Oh. And we have perfect shrinkage. I still have a finger I can get around, but they ain't slipping off too much. In the legs, we still have uh, nice enough room. So that worked out pretty well. Overall, I lost a size in the waist, and I barely lost anything in the length. I'm very surprised about that. This isn't a delicate cycle. So then I threw it back in on the cotton cycle, and I lost one more size on the waist, and again, barely anything on the length. Now it's time to dry, so find a hanger and hang them. Clip hangers are the best. You can go right side up if you still want the legs to shrink but do them upside down if you want to stop any shrinkage because the weight of the waist will hold it down. So overall thoughts about shrinkage, if you want 
to have your jeans shrink the most, definitely go through the washing machine. I think it's most important to experience a true pair of Levi's by doing a tub soak. You're only going to lose about half a size in your waist by shrinking in the tub. So if you need to shrink more, then do the tub and then a washing machine if you want to shrink a size and a half. But get it wet and dry before you put in the washing machine to shrink anymore. Wearing rigid, it's just a great way. I mean, the natural cycle of how I would wear jeans and how most people would wear is you get your birthday, New Year's, going back to school, you get that first pair of rigid. You wear them rigid. You cuff up the ankles because they're a little too long. You wear a belt. Then you do a tub soak once it's a little warmer. Then you'll do a machine wash after about a year. You've already worn them in. They've already adjusted to your body, and then you're just putting them through that machine. It's all part of experiencing Levi's that you don't really get from other jeans. And sure, if they are shrink to fit, you, you can go through that experience too, but I recommend trying a tub soak once in your life. I have to say that there's a difference between buying a pair of jeans that is actually called rigid under the Levi's vintage clothing collection or buying a distressed pair that is not called rigid. You get more shrinkage out of a rigid. You get less out of any of the other ones. Even the black, even uh, new rinse, they're still shrinking less because they've been altered and they're not as raw of a denim. Now, these are all my thoughts. Uh, if I left anything out, please comment. We'll be doing several more videos coming up soon. Thanks for being a subscriber. It helps out a lot. I'm Den. Have a great day, guys. See you later.